Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the next episode of the Pack Play series. If you guys missed any episodes, make sure you guys go and check them out. I do have a playlist up on the channel so you guys can go ahead, check out the playlist, watch those episodes, which, okay, every time I say this it never ends up happening, but I'm actually recording this video Tuesday. I'm hoping you're watching it Wednesday. If you're not watching it Wednesday, you're probably watching it Thursday. Hopefully, though, this is, in fact, another midweek episode. I know you guys really enjoyed the double upload that I did last week of Pack and Play. If you guys want to keep it up, drop a like in the video. Let's stay for over a cool 1K likes in the bit. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Potato Head for being a part of the Nodi Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below Nodi Gang. Also, I need you guys to go down in the comment section right now. Comment down below two challenges you guys want me to do in the next episode to get extra packs, of course. So, the types of like comments, the ones that I'll do. And by the way, I want to start doing something. So, I want to do one challenge where we just get like a get a gold or whatever, but... You know, now that we're getting up there and overall and everything, we're obviously going to face some higher overall teams. We're getting now into December. One challenge I want to do, I want you guys to make it not impossible, okay? Don't do something impossible, but I want you to make it decently challenging to where it it's not like a guarantee, right? And if I complete it, then I'll get a special pack. And then the other challenge that I'll do, we'll do two get a goals for that one. So if I get both challenges done, I'll get two get a goals for one challenge, and then I'll be able to get a special pack for the other kind of more difficult one. So leave me some comments down below. The top two liked ones are the ones that I will do. Uh, like one that says, like, make sure you specify, you know, harder for a special pack, and the other one for a get a goal, so that way I know. But also, of course, Zerkmas is still going on. So every single Friday, I'm going to be picking a winner for a $50 gift card. And on Christmas, a $100 gift card and the Xbox right there. And maybe a PlayStation 5 if my order doesn't get canceled. I'm still waiting to find that on that. But we will see. For you guys to enter for those, though, all you have to do is drop a like in the vid. Make sure you sub to the channel. Comment down below Zerkmas and leave way to contact you up for Twitter or Instagram. Uh, and also, you guys want to make sure that you go back and watch all my other videos from this month as well. Because on a Christmas day, for like that Xbox and everything... Yeah, I'm just going to pick a random video from December. And for the $50 gift card every single Friday, I pick a random video from the week. So you definitely want to make sure you guys are commenting on every single video. Turn the notification bell on. Simple as that. But as for the challenges on today's episode, the first challenge is going to be no timeouts in the second half. So I can't call a timeout. That's a pretty easy one. We get two good goals for doing that. The more difficult one is I have to run one play for an entire drive and see what we can do with that on offense. So hopefully we're going to score a touchdown. We'll see what we can do. But as you guys can see, this is the pack and play offense. We have now got James Conner here at running back. We just scooped him up in the last episode. Still need some help with wide receivers. But aside from that, the team is not looking all that bad. And uh, defensively, it's looking pretty good. I mean, we got Steve Atwater right here. We have Pat Watkins, Adrian Amos. I mean, we're definitely getting there. We made some solid upgrades in the last episode or so. So we'll see what we can do in this one. Let's get in the gameplay. Looking to take your game in Madden 21 to another level? Make sure to check out HotRoute.Tips. Get access to eBooks, tips, and schemes for Madden pros. Use code Zerk for 10% off. Let's dominate weekend league. So that, of course, can be my top three. By the way, I am still playing on next gen, even though it made me very, very mad in the last episode. Oh no, he's got Tyreek. There. Okay, if there's one thing you guys need to know about next gen Madden, okay. If your opponent has got a much, much faster wide receiver than you, and obviously my fastest corner is like 87 speed, he has fully powered up Tyreek Hill. I'm going to let you guys know right now, It, I promise you, unless I come out in quarters, three-man deep every play, it does not matter what defensive coverage that I actually call in this game, he is going to be able to put Tyreek on a streak, and there's nothing I can do about it. So this is going to be pretty bad. I'm not going to lie here. We're probably going to lose this game strictly because, like, Straight up, guys, there's no way I stopped Tyreek Hill. There is absolutely no way, unless this guy's just absolutely awful. But I am running the same exact play for this entire drive, as that could have been picked. So I am going to be running the same exact play for the entire drive, but obviously I can switch things up. I can run different hot routes, whatever. Uh, so we are going to be doing that a little bit, switching it up just, just slightly, you know, but uh, we'll see what we can do out here. We don't necessarily have to even score. I just have to run the same exact play 
As good catch there, Connor. I instinctively want to change the place so bad here, but you guys already know we have to run the same place. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's see if he tries to go and cover on Connor, which he actually didn't there. And I tried to take off with Cam. All right, so once again, going back to the same exact play as I told you guys, we have to run the same exact play for the entire drive. And again, you know, I just switched up some things, so it is the same play, but just some different hot routes. As we do have Shocky open, and he caught that. Good, good play, Shocky. I feel like my opponent here is about to send like a nasty blitz at me is he about to send a blitz i'm gonna see if i can catch him off guard maybe mike evans on a little out route here looks like mike evans is gonna be able to get open and catch that if he would turn up the field one thing i can say about next gen is i'm happy that it is a completely different game it most definitely is not the same feel as uh, current gen and the way like wide receivers run their routes is way different all right so third and ten coming up we just got sacked there in second down now i'm gonna try something a little bit risky here and I, I really hope that it plays off. You guys can see I have both of my running backs actually coming out of the backfield here. I'm going to try to make him choose between one to play on. And I was actually going to try to throw to be there, but we walked to a sack. And unfortunately, I don't really have an option. We kind of have to go for this on fourth down. I mean, I could put him the ball, but technically then I wouldn't be running the same exact play for an entire drive. So are we going to pick up this first down here? Probably not, but we're going to see what we can do, and I couldn't get the ball to Julio. So I do get a special pack for completing that challenge there, but I want to let you guys know that that's probably the easiest challenge I will ever let qualify uh, for the special challenge there, as to be honest with you guys, I just ran cover four, covered over the top, pass committed, he still beat me deep. Basically nothing I'm going to be able to do unless I get lucky like that again, and the ball just gets overthrown, uh, which is very lucky for me, as oh, I thought I could bait him right there with Pat Watkins. I'm basically forced to have to like, shade over the top every single play back up my coverage and have like three or four deep blues out there otherwise he's just gonna non-stop beat me deep and unfortunately for me there's actually nothing i can do about it and even then when i'm running this coverage i still might get beat over the top so what i'm really gonna need is some pressure from my defense i badly need some pressure we need to get some sacks on my opponent so that way he doesn't have you know just all the time in the world back there to still try and throw deep but i'm gonna somehow have to try to play underneath routes i'm not sure we're gonna do that but yeah touchdown now i did ask you guys in my last video if i should like switch back to playing old gen because to be honest you guys like if you have a bad secondary on your ultimate team in next gen you're you're really gonna notice it like even with my team that i have with like all my studs i still get beat over the top and there's not really much i can do about it but over here yeah the pack play team it's real bad what i really need to do is pull like a tyree kill base elite or really just like any fast wide receiver uh their power up i mean that'd be so clutch as once again Diggs is just cooking out here that's denzel ward if you have a good route running wide receiver i mean you guys can see it my opponent's team is not bad at all this is a really really good team and I mean, look at Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs is just torching. That's basically Diggs. So we're at third and inches from the two. I actually subbed in James Conner at fullback. We're gonna try a little fullback dive here. Conner gets in for the TD. All right, so we managed to get our first pack. Now we did complete the challenge, but the challenge gave us a special pack. So I'm not gonna allow that to give us like an additional pack there. So that technically was our first pack. And now Raheem Mostert's tearing us up. I'm really trying to sell out versus the pass. I, ju I just don't wanna get burnt deep by Tyreek Hill as it looks like he's probably gonna try to go deep on me and julio i mean i have deep safeties out there i'm not gonna do at this point guys i kind of just expect to get burned over the top so i don't think i'm gonna get mad about it anymore I, I just kind of expect it like if you can't beat me over the top there is an issue versus this team i mean i'm, I'm shading over the top pass committing i have deep blues back there there's just nothing i can do about it uh but second and 10 we do have dalvin cook out of the backfield here i try to make someone miss all right second and 19 we do have a one timeout left and we have 33 seconds i really just need my offensive line to just hold up as digs gotta be deep digs oh stay in bounds i absolutely need stefan Diggs to stay in bounds there as i think we're gonna have him here again which he just stopped his route and i just hit a spin move there now for those of you guys that maybe haven't watched pack and play before if you don't know already we don't get any sort of packs for taking field goals so i don't take field goals in this series as digs once again dude he's feasting but we have 16 seconds left I'm, I'm just gonna have to run hurry up here and i'm gonna try to fit this one into jeremy shockey more than likely shockey with a dot let's go jeremy shockey there with a big time catch i'm honestly surprised i even got the snap off in time i wasn't sure if we'd be able to and that was super super risky but you know obviously we had to go for it and once again guys oh we actually get a sack that entire time i was just watching tyree kill just 
torch me like i was just watching over on that left side and i start to re coming in as we get another sack so that's a pack but we did get back to back sacks that was big time there and i mean i'm trying to send blitzes at my opponent trying to see what i can do and i mean if i back off my coverage like that he's just gonna run for 15 plus yards every time so if i completely sell for the pass and i'm playing everyone quarters 3d backup coverage whatever so we don't just give up touchdowns that easy my opponent's going to run the ball, he's going to chew the clock, and we're not going to get any packs for pack and play, as he's chucking it up, but Jamal Adams is there, and he's breaking it up. So he's down to the 22, I don't want him to be able to run the ball here, but obviously, you know, if he just passes, Darren Waller's going to cook us. Alright, so we've only got three packs so far, but we already have secured a special pack, but we at least need to get, like, another touchdown or something, man, and we're still in this game as well. We're gonna have to somehow get a defensive stop. I know it's gonna be very hard to, but Diggs, once again, man, I'm just torching him on these crosser routes. Diggs is getting wide open. So we're down to the 15, and I'm gonna try another screen here. You guys can see he is blitzing off of that right side, and unfortunately, he is users over there as well, but we got the ball off. James Conner doing a little bit of a Joe Conner accelerate. We probably could've got the TD there. See, there I kinda used the movement system to my advantage which is probably like the first time I've ever done that. Uh, but again, first and goal, I'm trying to fullback dive again with James Conner, and again he gets in. All right, so we have already got four packs, and you guys can see my opponent's coming out at five wide now. I'm gonna try and send a little bit of a blitz at him here with Adrian Amos, and hopefully that will add just a little bit more pressure and get there if we need it, as we do get there with Adrian Amos. So if we can get sack. one more sack here, we get, a, we get a pack for every two sacks. So as long as we get one more sack, we will get a pack... Nice. DK Metcalf over the top. And you see now, this is exactly what I'm talking about when I said I can't really do much about it. Because in that situation right there, guys, I had backed up safeties playing over the top, pass committed, all that, and Steve Atwater still, unfortunately, uh, just couldn't get there in time as I just ran cover four, and I did the exact same thing that I just told you guys about there, and again, Atwater can't cover. Do you guys let me know down below what you want me to do? Should I stay on the new gen, or should I go back to old gen because... I mean, it's plain as day. There's actually nothing that I can do about just getting beat over the top, unfortunately. There's no adjustments that I can possibly make. So we've only got 28 seconds left, and no huddling takes 12 seconds off the clock, but I think we might have Jeremy Shockey. We don't. Dang it. So unfortunately, guys, we did end up losing that game there, but we have six total packs. We had four, then we get one for just playing the game. Uh, then we get one for completing the challenge well because I didn't call a timeout. Unfortunately, there was like 20 seconds left. I could have played it a little bit better if I actually wanted to use my timeouts there, but with 20 seconds left, if I throw it in the middle of the field, it's game over because of the run out, so I kind of had to throw it deep. Thought we had Shockey for a second. Sadly, we didn't. So you guys, let me know down below which one I'm going to do. Should I stay on this generation? Should I go back to old gen? Because, I mean, I really just can't stop the deep ball, unfortunately. Uh, if I get lucky and I play someone that doesn't have Tyreek Hill, then that'd be a little bit different. But, yeah, we'll see what we can do. So we have six total packs, and that means we actually have two special packs because the one uh, challenge, we get a special pack. So we get to do the cheapest pack in the store, guarantees an elite, which would be the team of the week. So we get to do two team of the week packs here, please. Please give me like Donovan McNabb or Glover. Waller? Okay. So we got Darren Waller. Ah. Uh, I don't think we can use him. He's got 83 speed. I don't remember who my tight end is right now, but I think it's a pretty uh, Jeremy Shockey. I just remember Jeremy Shockey is our tight end. So I don't know if we can use Darren Waller. We could throw him at like backup, but we can always quick sell him, take the training, and use it for something else. We get a 50 player. Ah. Uh, 81 Reggie. I was so hoping it was a full one there. But our team of the week is 82 Joe Schobert. He's obviously way, way too slow. So we are not going to use him. So our two special packs, really not that crazy. Uh, but we do have five getting gold player packs to get into. I guess we can also do uh, our one get a gold player pack straggler pack here. So we'll see what we can get. We need a decent pull, man. We need like a decent power up. Uh, a fast safety of some sort. We need a fast wide receiver. That's what I badly need. A fast safety, a fast wide receiver, a faster corner. We, we just badly need it here. Anthony Walker Jr. there. Four more packs. Oh, we might get something good. 92, please. 92! 92 Chris Samuels. Now, I have some pretty good left tackles already, so we could actually quick sell that, take the training points, and use that. We may end up doing that. We also get 82 Joe Schobert again. I'll take it. Training points there. That was a clutch boy right there with that uh, 92 left tackle. Honestly, I, 
I may quick sell him, uh, even though we have a worse technically left tackle right now in Joe Thomas. And uh, I feel like we could rather just use the training and do like some heavyweight packs and stuff. So we'll see how many training points we have. So quick selling everything we just pulled there. I am going to quick sell the 92 overall Chris Samuels. We get 11,500 training. Now that is obviously huge because we badly need some good players in the team. Now, as I said, we need fast players. So heavyweights really are not going to help us here. We badly, badly need like a Derwin James or uh, a good corner. So we're going to go ahead do a couple of these 8099s. We can do two of them and keep both players. Please give me Derwin or a corner. Derwin or a corner, please. AJ Brown. What's his speed? Because, like, I could still use a wide receiver. 90 speed, 91 excel. Oh, man. We need a wide receiver, too. Okay. So, we're going to hold that because I feel like we may be able to use AJ Brown here. We'll see. Please give me Derwin or a corner. Derwin or a corner. Please, Derwin James. Derwin James. Derwin James. Orlando Brown. We don't need that. So I'm going to quick sell that because, I mean, we don't really need an offensive stack. We just badly need a defensive back. Give me a defensive back. Any of them, please. James Conner. We don't need James Conner either. EA, please don't troll me right now. We so badly need a defensive back. It's not even funny how badly we need one right now. We get AJ Brown again. Now that is a 90 overall, so we actually make 5,000 training off that. 500 training profit. Please give me a DB. A DB. Clyde. We don't need Clyde. Yeah, we don't We, we don't need him. Uh, we have James Conner already. I'm okay with James Conner. Maybe Clyde had better stats. Maybe I actually just trying to quick sold him there, but is what it is. Derwin James. No. No, EA. Please, please stop doing this to me. Give me Derwin James. I know he's not the fast safety in the world, but he'll be able to play over the top and be good enough. And we get Sean Murphy. I'm probably gonna have to keep him. He's got 92 speed, 91 excel. The coverage stats aren't great, but I mean, we, we so badly needed this. So honestly, those were two really, really needed upgrades. So we're gonna go ahead now and quick sell Mike Evans. You might be wondering, why did I quick sell Mike Evans and not quick sell someone else that, you know, was like a wide receiver five, whatever. Well, because I feel like with Mike Evans, we don't really need him wide receiver four. He's not really too crazy anyway. So we're gonna go ahead. We are gonna do three of these 82 plus overall packs. We could probably do four, but please give me a 92. Okay, 82 overall, Matt Leinart. Uh, probably not gonna use him. Don't really wanna use that card. We're just trying to pull a 92 overall, man. Please, 82 Reggie Nelson. And we can actually do two more of these packs here, but please, please, EA, please, 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 the 92. Vince Wilfork, we can do one more pack, and then we're gonna have to go quick sell the cards we pulled. We can come back and probably do like one or two more packs. Please help me out, please. Ah. So with 1,500 training points, guys, we have enough to do two more of these 82 plus overall packs. EA, I'm begging you, man. 92, 82 overall, shocky. We're just gonna go and quick sell him. If, if this isn't a 92, we'll just quick sell what we get. We'll do one final pack. 82 Leroy. It's not going to be good enough, man. We got one final pack here. Please. Please, please, please. Ah. Well, I tried my best, but unfortunately, we couldn't get it done. But we actually got some pretty solid upgrades for this episode. We did get AJ Brown, 90 overall. He is now our fastest wide receiver with, I mean, 90 speed, 91 excel. It's not crazy fast, but I mean, it's obviously better than like Stefan Diggs, right? He's got 85 speed, Julio, 85 speed. It's gonna make a big difference. And then also we finally got a fast DB out there. I have Adrian Amos, but I use her Amos. That's kind of like my issue is I really want to use him, but I feel like we're going to have to go back to using Jamal Adams at free set or a middle linebacker and have an Amos over the top because it is honestly just impossible for me to try to cover anybody without Amos over the top. We just badly, badly need him. But 89 overall, Sean Mitchell Bunting, honestly, this is probably like the most important upgrade we've ever got, especially for next gen Madden. This is probably the best upgrade that we could have potentially gotten. I would have loved to have Derwin James, but a 92 speed corner, we so badly needed that. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. It was a pretty solid episode. Had a pretty close game. We got two very, very needed, like uh, two super needed upgrades. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.